welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm at an old school, um, it's got an area salt underneath of it, it's in Hull in East Riding. So yeah, I'm with uh, Mike Deering and Mike Corvell. Um, come with me and let's take a look around. It's Mike Deering. Barbellion on YouTube. Yeah, Barbellion on YouTube, so I'll put a link in the description for him. And also Mike Corvell, Hello. which is a local historian and author. Um, I'll put a link to his Amazon shop on the, uh, down in the description. Just going to tell you a little bit of history. Uh, well, basically, uh, the school was part of a bigger site. You had Moulton Street School, which is where we're at. And then at the other side, you had the Junior School, uh, which was a lot bigger than this site, and sadly that site's gone. Um, in the First World War, a lot of the pupils uh, that had been at the school went away to fight in the First World War. We've got names of all those people that, that went. Uh, many of them never came back. During the Second World War, uh, in, from as early as 1939, the ARP were using this building to give lectures um, on safety during uh, the Blitz and so on. Um, but the site was also designated a communal shelter. Um, and it would have been more or less for the pupils uh, and the teachers and things like that, because on a night, um, everyone would have left and, and gone home. Uh, it was also appeared in some of the documentation as, as being where you could come if you were rendered homeless or if you needed emergency feeding uh, during the Blitz. Thank you for that, Mike. So here we are going down into the uh, air raid shelter. Here we are inside. This school dates from the uh, 1900s. Now used as a, a nightclub as a school. So yeah, not very big. It's big enough to accommodate the uh, children that were at the school though. Here's some of the original um, white paint on the side of the steps. So they can see the steps in the uh, blackout. It's a bit more of it there, a bit clearer. But a few people tripped over that step getting in there. See, up as you can see, it's used as an, an outside bar there. And there's a water source, as you can see, some more white brickwork there. So, I presume during the Second World War that was a water source as well, maybe for fires come grab the water not too sure Thanks for watching. Sorry it's only a short video. Um, thanks for watching anyway. See you all again on the next one. Goodbye.